Hi guys, with this video I'm starting a brand new series called Practical Python Tips and Tricks and this is going to be the part 1. So in this video we are going to cover 5 steps that will enable your code to work better and also look nicer. So the first thing that we are going to cover is to create a dictionary from those two tuples. We are going to put them together and then we will receive a dictionary which later we will reverse. So in the first case scenario Iron Man will be the key and Tony Stark will be the value and then we will reverse it so Tony Stark will become the key and Iron Man will become the value. So this is the first challenge. Then we will go to step number two and we will use enumerate to print items and all the position of items from a list. So first of all we will show you a classical approach a little bit longer and then we will do it and the same thing with the use of enumerate to have it done in more convenient way with less lines of code. Then we will jump into step number three and we will get all argument position uh, positions meeting um, the criteria in a particular list. So in this case we have Hulk at the beginning of the list and Hulk at the end of the list. So we want to find the positions of the Hulk but if we use um, the index method on the Avengers it will only return the first position. So the last one over here will be ignored and we will only receive zero as this is the first position. So we need to find a solution to this problem. Okay and then we will go to step number four where we will apply debugging statements into the code with the use of assert and this is going to be an extension of the uh, third case uh, that we will cover and then we will jump into step number five where we will get the highest argument position so not the number but the argument position and we will use a little bit of help from the numpy library all right so without further ado let's jump into the code and let's begin from the top so let's define a new variable called heroes and then we need to put hero name and first last name together so we can do it with the use of zip and we can pass in hero name and then first last name okay so let's do this and then we need to remember that we want to create a dictionary so at the beginning we need to write down dict and this way um, the hero name becomes the key and the first last name becomes the value and in the heroes variable we are storing a dictionary so let's actually see uh, the results and shift enter and there it is so we have Iron Man as the key and Tony Stark as the value then we have Captain America as the key Steve Rogers Rogers as the value and so on so we can simply add a new line and in order to do that let's press escape now we have a blue line over here and we can press B if we would press A we would add a line above if B we will add a, a line below all right so let's confirm let's grab this heroes and let's access Iron Man so we should get Tony Stark Iron Man and there it is Tony Stark so everything is working okay so now I'm going to press A as you can see we, we got a line, new line over here and now let's try to reverse it but before we do that let's have a closer look into this heroes variable so this is a dictionary and we have access to some methods so first one will be the keys and here if we press shift enter we get a list of the keys so we get basically the hero name okay in a list then we have access to heroes values and as you can imagine we are accessing this so we have a list of the values in our dictionary but also what's very interesting and what we will use to reverse this dictionary is the heroes items so we are using items method and we are getting a list of tuples 
containing the key and the value. So we can loop through this um, list, we can grab the key, we can grab the value and we can simply reverse it. So how to do that? Well, we need to create a new variable called heroes reverse reverse okay and then let's open an empty dictionary and here again we have the key and here we have the value so we will be using um, dictionary comprehension and um, we can begin by switching the key and the value so if we have the key over here and the value over here let's write value And then key and then we need to write down for key value okay so for key and for value in heroes heroes items so we are looping through it with the use of dictionary comprehension and we want to achieve this uh, this form so the value will be mm, the key and the key will become the value so let's try this out i'm going to take this heroes reverse and i'm going to paste it below and now shift enter and as you can see we were able to reverse this dictionary so let's add a cell above and let's grab this heroes reverse and let's try to access not Iron Man but Tony Stark and we should get Iron Man shift enter and there it is so I think we solved the first case and we can move on to the next one which is use enumerate to print items and positions of items from a list so first let's use a classical approach and we will do it with the use of index at the very beginning we need to set it to zero and then we will create a for loop and we will uh, loop through this heroes list okay so for hero in heroes then we will print the index okay and the hero and then we need to enlarge this index okay so if we do it like this we should get zero iron man then position one captain america position two hawkeye and position three black widow okay shift enter and there it is if we would like to begin the numeration from one we simply need to set the index to one or we can set it to zero and take this and put it in the front okay this way we have index zero and um, before we print iron man we are actually enlarging this index so from zero it becomes one and then we grab the first position and put it inside so uh, if i press shift enter as you can see nothing changed but if i take this and put it below now should have the index starting from zero all right so now I'm going to press a and we have a line at the top and the same example will be done with the use of um, enumerate so the beginning is um, pretty much the same we can ignore the index because it will be inside of our loop so we need to write down for then index as I and um, hero Hero in enumerate heroes. Okay. And then we simply need to do the same thing over here. So print I, print I, and hero. And if we press Shift Enter, as you can see, we have the same results, but we achieved it in two lines of code instead of four. And if we would like to begin the numeration from not zero but one we simply need to add a starting point over here and press shift enter and as you can see now we have this index at the beginning set to one 
all right so i think this should be obvious if it's not we will practice it during the next steps okay so let's go to step number three uh, and let's get all argument positions meeting the criteria so the case over here is that if we use a simple index method on the avengers list we will get only the first position so we want to get the position of the hulk okay hulk shift enter and as you can see we get zero because uh, hulk is over here at position zero spider-man as is at position one iron man at position two and so on and we would like to achieve a result that we get all the positions of the hulk so we need to get position zero one two three four five so we should get position zero and position number five so this is the challenge that we need to do and let's create another um, line of code and let's press b okay so over here let's define a new variable called hulk positions and to solve this problem actually we will use um, concepts that we touched in the previous uh, two steps so in step number two we used enumerate and we will use this concept and in step number one we used the dictionary comprehension so we will use uh, over here not dictionary comprehension but list comprehension and we will mix a uh, list comprehension and enumerate in order to uh, solve this problem of the positions of the hulk all right so uh, let's begin we need to uh, make a list comprehension so let's open up a list and then we are interested in the position so we are interested in the index so let's write i as index four and then we need to uh, simply write down uh, i and then let's say that every item in this list will be assigned to x in we have the index so we need to write down enumerate and then grab this Avengers put it inside and finally we need to write a condition so we need to give a criterion and we want to take this X and set it to Hulk so we are interested only in the positions where the item is the Hulk okay so we can simply take the Hulk positions, copy and paste it below, shift enter. And as you can see, we have a list of those positions. So we got zero and five. All right. So this problem is solved. And now we can extend this third case with the use of assert. Okay. So we will extend this Hulk positions list because right now it's containing only integers and we will add a string and then we will use uh, the assert to debug the problem because this list let's assume should be containing only integers all right so let's begin by taking this hulk positions list and appending maybe some string called one okay then if we take the Hulk positions and paste it below, shift enter, we have now uh, two integers and one string. Okay, so I'm going to add a cell above. So I'm going to press A at this moment. We have a new line of code. And now we are going to create a for loop again with the use of enumerate. So for I and then mm, let's write position or pose for position in enumerate and now we need to pass the hulk positions okay so let's put it inside and then we want to write down assert is instance and then if the position will be an integer nothing will happen because we want to have only integers in this list but if it's not an integer we will uh, raise a assertion error 
and we can write down something like mm, wrong type of data in position and then we can pass in the position because we are using enumerate so we can take this i and put it inside over here and this way we will know at what position we have the problem so obviously um, this is a very short list but imagine that you have a very very long one and you can simply use assert with uh, enumerate and of course a for loop to uh, get uh, get uh, some information where something is not quite right okay so actually maybe let's see how this works in practice so i'm going to press shift enter and as you can see we have assertion error wrong type of data in position two so this is the case over here all right and now we can move to the final step get the highest argument position uh, from this numbers list so obviously the highest number is 99 but we are not interested in the number itself in the value itself we are interested in the position so we could of course write max numbers but this will return the maximum uh, the, the highest uh, value from this list so this will return 99 all right so we want to get the highest position now that we know that 99 is the highest um, number we want to get its position so 0 1 2 3 4 5 we need to write uh, a line of code that will return 5 so maybe we can write a for loop again with enumerate so for i and num in enumerate numbers and then we are going to print i and num and this is what we want to receive this five so five is the position of 99 and now we can import numpy as np and we can write down highest um maybe highest value position and we simply can use numpy numpy argmax in order to do this if we pass in numbers to this numpy argmax and we will get this variable and put it below and now if we press shift enter we will receive 5 and 5 is the position of 99 so this is how it's done um, hopefully this is obvious hopefully I didn't make it too difficult uh, I, my goal was to make it as simple as possible and I hope that you enjoyed this video because we will finish off over here uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel more videos are coming very soon more videos on Python Django and data science uh, I would like to thank you for this one and we will see each other hopefully in the next one bye bye